Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black, and welcome to part 51 of my Let's Play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. Today, yep, we've got everything handled except for our next story mission. Now this looks the same as it did before, but now that we've made our mud boat, well, we'll see. This is the same. This is the same. It's for the same for a while here. So we get to talk about... The bog's bottomless, it's gonna be tough to cross, and there's some kind of mysterious thing floating above the swamp. Blah, blah, blah. What we're trying to get to is that tower over there. Ah, here it comes. I've always rolled it out. The mud boat. Look, it'll be alright. It absolutely won't sink. And it'll get us across this bog. Okay, she swallows her hesitation. Great. That's one person. Alright, everybody. All aboard. See? See? This is our Earth Spirit Protected Boat. And blah blah blah, he's explaining it to himself. Oh, it actually is kind of impressive. Hmm, well, interestingly, the mud is a good match for the bog. Well, in this bottomless bog, we get to cross it with this Fune, with this ship. <laughs> but since it takes spirit power to work, it's something Deathelm can't do. And regretfully, it's something he can't sell then. Alright. Avaro feels good because everyone's recognizing he did a good job. Oh yeah, Fia helped out. Don't forget. Well, glad everybody's happy, but we can't let our guard down. An imposing enemy. Isn't it? She feels like her body's being prickled. That's interesting. Well, better not relax. It's only looking at us for now. But it's got a nasty feeling presence to it. Well, we fixed the bottomless bog problem and now we have to deal with this problem. Huh. But for whatever reason... Well, for what reason is it not attacking us? Probably. It keeps its attacking to a certain ear area of the bog. Now we've talked about this ghost wielder who's supposed to live here. Of our guesses it might be because of the orders of that ghost wielder. Nope. Fia gets a different feeling. What's that? That ghost is only connected to the bog. 
That's what it's saying, or what she feels. She actually says both of those. So in this bog, there is a lot of regret and a lot of malice swirling about. So what they're saying to Fia is, stay away and don't interfere. There are lots of spirits, ghosts, saying this, and they're waiting here to be saved. And she's certain that tower has some purpose in that objective. So, Fia can even hear the voices of ghosts, huh? Uh, anyway, if that ghost wielder is here, and she isn't the one who caused these ghosts to be here, then it was originally a ghost gathering place. So yeah, apparently a ghost wielder would pick someplace pl that was already like this. Imagine that. Probably, the ghost wielder wants to provide some comfort to the people who have died and moved in here. Fia thinks she hears that. And in return, the, the ghosts do a bit of her bidding, huh? No, looks like we've gotten too close. So, it's very wary and intends to sink us. So, interesting. Let's see how this goes down. Alright, so let's take care of this guy. And this thing is called the Shisho no Roki. Honestly, I tried to look that up. The first part seems to be related to prostitution and the rest of it I can't make heads or tails of. Now I've got a plan. You go last, Fia. Actually, Fia's probably going to stand in the same place the whole time. Mikayu, you actually won't be useful today. Now it's important to keep Fia back because we can't have her on the front lines. This thing will kill her in one run. Alright, so it's attacking. It's starting with an area attack. Next it hits Fia. No, no that's not Fia. Yo. Anyway, defend yourself. Okay, so... Now it's relatively safe to move Fia up. Actually, I've got an idea. Yes, I have an idea. I know how to do this. Uh, thanks for picking up that card detail, you're done now. So, let's start summons. 
It can't use that area attack very often. Oh, great. After I went through all the trouble of running y'all down there. You'll go here. And Ramrin goes here. Oops. I should have re-equipped Fia before I moved her. Now that she's moved, I can't re-equip her. Mm -hmm. Hey, superpowers. Now, in this formation, we can have Fia attacking the thing. But, she's protected by all four of her Yui key, so it won't be able to do any damage to her on a regular basis. Yeah, I didn't already say this. It's got 100 physical defense, so any physical attack you have is a waste of time. Especially when she has nearly 200 life. So we're going to keep to our most powerful magical attacks, which is Ranrin and Fia. And incidentally, Avaro and Rishu are here to protect Ranrin. Their protection isn't as powerful as the Yuiki protection. But, Ranrin also doesn't take a huge amount of damage if she gets hit. Oh, and let's see what this thing looks like. Whoa, ugly. Well, a lot like the cutscene, actually. That was pretty good, pretty good. Both of my trial runs had a better level up, but that was pretty good all the same. Usually it doesn't attack this way. Usually it uses its ranged attack in this situation. Often enough to hit Fia. Perhaps it's low on SP already. Ah, uh, I spoke too soon. Well, let's do this. She isn't doing her optimal damage, but... Actually, I'd kind of like to see her get hit. Muscles! So yeah, that was pretty much the ideal way that things would go down. Oh yes, switch out. This is her best magic boosting. And this is her best magic boosting. As an alternate, you could equip a darkness necklace, which would improve her darkness resistance considerably. Instead of doing 40 damage, it would do about 30 something. But anyway, now we're really doing damage to it. I hope you can see why I chose to surround her with her Yuki. That is just so hilarious. And... Ranrin's the only meaningful attack left. Hey, she might kill it. She will kill it. Let's watch! That's a... Is that a Mercury Stone? Kinsei, Kinsei. I keep forgetting which one's Kinsei Saki. Alright, anyway, we managed to beat it. So we can cross the bog and get to the tower. So, simple as that. Surprisingly nice place. But it does have a creepy aura to it. And nobody seems to be home. 
This it wasn't anticipated. Maybe we made a mistake coming here. Kiesner says we should remain wary. There's something here. Somebody? Yeah, are they hidden somewhere? Well, she can't tell where they are exactly, but when they set foot in the place, the atmosphere got cold. Somebody's watching. Hey. So. <laughs> Ah, uh, you're making the hairs on Navarro's neck stand up. Don't say scary stuff like that. So, it looks like it goes pretty deep. Maybe if we go in further, we'll find somebody. And look over there, there are stairs going up, but... Huh? Who's that person? Oh, there's somebody? I didn't see. I didn't notice. So let's take a look. So, if he was pointing at this. So, it doesn't give off that presence most people can feel, and it doesn't have footsteps. So, it's a weird thing. Everybody remember this guy? Woman? Oh, she left. All right, let's follow her. They've got to be connected to that rumored ghost wielder. Mate, Abaro. So kantan ni koto wa hakobanai yo da so. Yeah, wait up, Abaro. It's not going to go that simply. Hmm? No, oh, she distracted us and then we got surrounded. Oh, hell. What's up with these numbers? Well, it's not like they needed to hide in the first place. They can just wander through walls if they feel like it. Oh, there it explains it. Yep, we're pretty well surrounded. So, we walked into a trap. I think you guys are the only ones surprised by this. Alright. So, pretty simple. We need to beat everything. Mm. Navarro isn't well suited to this, but he can hold the fort in that direction. Let's hold off on Fia for the moment. Dtem also won't be able to take some of these guys, but some of them he will. Mm, it's a tough call. Which way did I have Fia go before? Actually, I know what I'll do. Fia steps here. And Rishu steps in front. I know I'm going to have Ron running backing up. Okay, Mikio is going to take down that ghost. This type of ghost we've already determined we don't need for our... any of our Yuiki, so we're gonna let that go. Mm, Let's see, leveling up, leveling up. Oh. Everybody's pretty level as far as levels go, so... I don't think I'm going to discriminate on who gets experience this time.
こいつでどうだまだだどうだ No、oh, man, I'm turning off the animations. Yeah, we saw this coming. Oh, jeez. Ranged attacks. <laughs> Not so much. Ah, but Avora can do something about these things. Oh yeah, turn off animations. Turn off animations. Okay, no more animations. Fia came this way in order to take down that thing for Rishu. Kodo k a i s h a Like I said, Faro is not well suited to being over here, but kind of need him to do it. Something else I want to try and do. Mikayu, can you kill this? Yes, you can. All the attacks make the same thing to this. So let's do the capture attack. Oh, yes, I think I'm going to keep y o r o standing on the base. Because everybody else is leaving, and a lot of ghosts have this tendency to ignore my characters and just go for my base in order to instant kill me. Bunch of bastards, I swear. But as long as y o r o n is sitting on it, they can't. Mm. Oh, crazy. Undine. Mm. Excellent. Man, sucker. Soft fur. Why does she have soft fur? Alright, this will probably be a capture, but it's kind of annoying. That counter attack it does will nullify an attack. Oh, another ghost. Now, one thing I want to do is capture everything. Well, with the exception of the really simple. s、uh, Wait a minute, this is a boss, isn't it? I didn't really look at how much damage it would do to heal. Okay, maybe it wasn't really relevant. But I'll pay attention next time. Honest. Okay, we saw the boss's animation. We need to stop with animations now. Oh. Uh. The fair. The fair border on one p o r t Okay, turn off animations. Turn off animations. Oh crap! This guy. 
And let's see, I do 38 damage and he'll do 20. That's still a lot to do to Fia. But it's still a lot to do to him. She can kill him in one round. Now, his has a possible instant death effect, however. If she gets instant death, I'm going to restart. Now, instant death doesn't take effect very often, as you can see, but if it did, I would be so out of sorts. Hmm. Let's start with Mikayu, actually. If she weakens these guys, then Deedham will be able to capture them. There you go. Now I don't want to kill all of the enemies. Not yet. You see, I want to clear all the map before I clear all the enemies. So that I get the 100% control bonus. On the other hand, I also want to do it in 15 turns so I get the 15 turns and under bonus. It may be too much to ask for, but I will do my best. <laughs> uh, it's spitting a gallstone at me. Okay, turn off animations. Thank you. Maybe I'll just have to let this guy live. Hmm? No. It's a loser. Kill it. Oh, she's still alive. Oh, obviously. Hmm. I think I will send Fia down over that way. She'll be able to deal with that. Maybe. Probably. Oh hell, I don't know. I'm definitely going to have to go south if I want to clear the map. Crap, crap, crap. Well, I've still got, what, 14 turns? 11 turns. Ooh. Okay, you'll, you'll go south. If that ghost tries to kill you, then uh, look at it funny. I don't know. Alright, I'm taking a bit of a risk here, leaving Mikayu in front like that. 20 damage times 2. Hmm. 22 damage times 2. Perfect. No oh, bugger. I used the wrong attack. Capture. Oh, 
Nagay Order in your first priority is to protect the base. Okay. Too much damage, BKU. Alright, this particular kind of ghost is basically like the other kind, except it's two stars. Otherwise it is not a much more impressive. Why did that ghost woman not do anything? That is so creepy. Oh, you can win this if he crits. Ha. Oh great, another one. Okay, safe to kill this. You know how nervous you get when you have an enemy you want to fight and it won't come out and fight. Oh yeah, these are good high star enemies to capture. Stupid bats and stupid bat dodging. <coughs> Oh, did that guy just warp in next to Fia? Ah, she is going to be a bloody smear uh, if she has blood. Hmm. Okay. Well, I can kill it. And we'll certainly kill it. So, let's kill it. Fia might take a lot of damage here. Oh, it's sneaky. That was one of the resurrection abilities. I had to kill it twice. Fortunately, she did enough damage for it. This is a bad level up. Well, the luck is a good thing. Since she has such high lot, she gets a lot of critical hits. Hmm. Kill it this time, Kisnir. Yes, please. Perfect. I presently realize that I shouldn't have sent Avaro south. Oh well. Mot Z. 
強くなれ行動開始だ Yeah. Pull a car back and pull most of these guys back, actually. Eo will have to stay here. Kisnir will go through that teleporter. Oh great, another... Wait, was this the room full of crazies? I remember this room. Anyway, I want to capture this so I don't want to kill it with Ranrin like this. Pretty impressive damage. Interesting fact, if you park your character on top of a base, you get a little bit of regeneration. Not a whole lot, but a little. Hmm, my notes indicate that there was a rock that I needed an engineer to fixing. To the east, but there wasn't. I made a mistake in my notes. How careless. to do here. Where are they? Here they are. Oh, jeez. Well, Ranrin can take care of it if it doesn't walk. Just decide to wander off. It just decided to wander off. Well, I don't need to capture you. Hmm? Don't need to capture you either. Haha. <laughs> Mm, crap. Hmm. Feels pretty low on life after tangling with both of the bosses. I don't know if I'll be able to finish this in the next three turns. Hmm. And I want to get that chest, of course.
Yeah, this would be so much easier to navigate if I could teleport. Well. Yep, just my, like my trial run. Surprisingly, Ranrin can take it all. Oh yeah. Fierce capture attack is ranged, but it's also only a range of two. If I equipped her with a capture rope, she could capture with her range three physical attack. But it's not a very good physical attack. Whom can I capture? Hey, only if I get a critical hit. Not a chance. Please no. Well, getting a critical or relying on a critical is better than nothing. Ouch. Well, she'll take a hit, but then she'll capture it. Perfect. Oh, not bad. Not bad. Okay. Now that thing is going to be in range of Fia, and Fia can ta tackle it pretty handily. Hmm. In order to finish this map, with the bonus, I would have to finish it during my next turn. Sadly, that won't happen. Okay, start by weakening it. Ah, there's the last stone. Capture? Capture. Great. Navarro will get there in two turns. Eo will get to her thing in two turns. And then I think I'll have Mikayu kill this. Oh, 
俺の出番だな All right, that's a wrap. As you can see by the, well, in case you haven't speculated about it already, we'll be able to revisit this map. Now that's a three-star gathering item, which it didn't have the courtesy to tell you before you came here. But you can revisit the map, so if you need it. So, the stupid brats have gotten through the first line of defense. So, he says that her defenses are rather weak, and he accuses her of not putting her back into it. Well, she can't give orders to all of the ghosts all at once. There are limits to her power, and Gilsh apparently should know that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, so he says that the simple peasant level ghosts aren't able to defeat those guys. So next up is apparently Rose Lean's turn. And it's the second line of defense. It should be perfect, and if he is forced to actually participate in the battle, he is going to be very displeased. So yeah, she's ready for the next round, and she promises that he won't have to dirty his hands. Okay, sounds good. First, we'd make our defenses perfect and then rip them to shreds. And since they have to endure these successive battles, we're going to rip them apart. You, there's two problems here. First, if they're having successive battles, you are also having successive battles. So, <laughs> You know, he's looking forward to seeing their faces as they're being ripped apart by ghosts. So, Gilsh is getting all high up on the thought of the suffering they're going to go through, even though he doesn't plan on seeing it himself. Well, he's a bastard that way. Now I said there are two problems with what he said. The success of battle things, if it applies to the us, then it applies to them. And second, they aren't successive battles. They just let us leave and come back later. <laughs> Oh, hey, new uh, um, alchemist, engineer boots. Oh, that thing that dropped the soft fear fur. I think there are other places I could have gotten it earlier. I just haven't. They didn't drop it. <laughs> lots and lots of healing potions. I'm pleased. Yes. I didn't make anything that would give me special scenes, did I? And I just have to build all the buildings I can on principle. Yes. Yes. 
Yeah, no scenes. No. Four star males. Or four star goblinoids. Noticeably, they're both the same one. Males. Determination is a super skill, especially for a tank. Well, it would be a super skill for anybody, really. Two star constructs. Physical defense. Yeah. <laughs> he needs physical defense. Two star ghosts for magic attack. Mm. You know what? I'm going to save the magic attack for Ranlin. No. Here. Yeah, she has the same requirements and she gets magic attack out of it. Which is great because I use her magic attack for things. Two star spirits. Three star spirits. Hmm. Oh, hell, let's do it. Well, she's got a pretty good boost on that today, didn't she? And the others can't use anything. Hmm. I feel like I should kick more out, but I have plenty of room, so let's not worry about it. Interestingly, I passed a day in the dungeons and no new scenes in the castle, so I think I will call it a day. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.